Hey, good morning, scientists. Welcome to Monday. Uh, we are at October 25th, and I want to say uh, hello to you. Uh, if you are at home, I want to say keep up the good work, keep your head up. Uh, I know it's not easy to be at home and trying to do this stuff at home. So um, always reach out to me if you have any questions. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, we are in week nine here at science uh, class at Iyer Middle School here in sixth grade, pod two. So um, let's go through each day uh, so that you have an idea of what to do each day. And um, as always, drop me a line and uh, email me if you have any questions. Okay, so starting off with Monday, we are opening that up. And um, if you were in school, uh, you heard the story about, um, you know, how my son's uh, dyslexic. And uh, the, an accommodation that he always sort of made for himself was to sketch things out or attach vocabulary using, um, you know, using pictures rather than just uh, boring definitions. And so uh, this assignment deals with uh, today in class, we spent time uh, taking each slide and dedicating each one of these slides to one of these words. So for example, this would be qualitative observations. And you could copy that, boop, and you could put that in here. And what I really want you to do, boop, paste. What I really want you to do is um, is take instead of writing a, a definition out for these words, uh, what I'd like for you to do is find a picture that you can plug right here. And uh, when you look at that picture, you understand. Uh, for yourself, what qualitative observation is. And uh, keep in mind, qualitative deals with our five senses. Um, quantitative deals with numbers. Um, and we talked a bit about that earlier uh, in the month. Um, and so a perfect example of a, if a well put together slide might be, actually this isn't as, as beautiful as I'd like it to be, but uh, an example is if the, if the word were volcano, here's an image that I found online that sort of depicts clearly what a volcano is. So when I look at that picture, I'm able to say, oh, that's a volcano. Um, and that is what we're doing. And we're going to do that for all of these words here. Fact, opinion, landform, geologists. One note, uh, I would kind of challenge you not to... Um, not to, find, not to use the, the first image that you find online. Not always good fits. Um, so, uh, points for creativity. Uh, you do not have this for homework on Monday night. Uh, we're, this is a sort of a perpetual or ongoing uh, project that we're going to be working on. And when you're done, you're just going to have a huge slideshow um, that I'll give you points for uh, based on its completion. So, uh, moving along here, we've got, uh, let's see, we're on week nine, uh, black folders for the spookiness and Halloween here. Uh, on Tuesday, we're going to watch a quick brain pop video. Uh, remember that the password is uh, IRMS, no, username IRMS, uh, no capitals, one word, and the password is brain pop. Uh, complicated stuff there. So uh, we're going to watch that little movie there. Uh, and then what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to click on this and answer these questions based on this article. Now, uh, there's no lying that this is a bit of a beefy article. It's got a lot of stuff going on, and I know that uh, some of you are can be intimidated by some scientific reading. However, uh, I have read it aloud for you. So here in the folder, uh, you can see I'm not going to click on that, otherwise it'll initiate the... Um, It'll initiate the YouTube video that's been filmed, but this video is of me reading this article aloud. Afterwards, on page 21 of your notebook, I'd like you to answer these questions, all right? And those questions are look, I'm looking for those questions to be answered uh, in full sentences, beautifully written, uh, capitalization and punctuation uh, are expected there. So uh, that is what we're doing there on Tuesday. Uh, on Wednesday, we are doing any number of things here. We've got some stuff going on here. We're going to be talking about seafloor spreading. And this is about a 1 minute and 11 second video. Boom. Uh, that's called seafloor spreading. And actually, it's uh, I believe it's Bill Nye who is um, narrating that. So that's good. Uh, there is uh, Legends of a Learning Game here on seafloor spreading. We're going to spend some time looking at this convection current diagram and potentially reproducing this 
in our notebooks. Um, the goal is to have uh, you understand what the word convection means. Um, and so hopefully that will be something that uh, will benefit it for you. So um, that is what we're doing on Wednesday. Uh, this video, diagram, game, and then uh, here's Google Earth. Uh, Google Earth typically uh, shuts down my computer in terms of the bandwidth that it uses. So I'm not going to click on that, but um, it does allow you to kind of go from place to place to place using the uh, just amazing technology that is Google Earth uh, and sort of viewing uh, a real uh, realistic picture of what uh, the seafloor looks like, right, and determining its age based on where it's located and what it looks like. So it's pretty cool stuff there. Um, so that is Wednesday. Let's hop over to Thursday. Thursday is going to be pretty easy. I've got a plate movement interactive here, and then we're going to use page 20 to list some of the effects of plate movement on Earth's surface. And we'll be able to, um, we'll be able to use this uh, to answer those questions. Uh, you'll find that as you uh, place your your mouse over really important parts here that oh, there's North America uh, that you'll see that there are different plates that exist in the world this is going to take a little bit of time for you to kind of look at and kind of absorb um, but I think well, you'll be able to answer uh, this question what are some of the effects of plate movement on earth service on page 20 very easily uh, and that's really it, uh, because on Friday we have a half day, uh, which is going to be partly taken up by a pep rally, and uh, not all classes are even going to meet. So uh, I'm not going to see my PM science classes. Uh, so we're just going to do something fun in the AM uh, classes, periods one, two, and three, and that's not something that will be um, required for you to do. So, um, so we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday is a half day for you. I'll be here all day. Um, so, uh, so I hope that's helpful to you. I uh, again, drop me a line if you have any questions, and I will see you later. Thanks, everyone.